Compost, blood and bone, and standard bit of the uh, premium potting mix. That number one trick is stress. Stress is good, gentle, low training stress. So, yeah, I'll give you a rundown. Alright, yeah, so first of all, a little bit of a tickle around the top. I'm going to pull out a bit of the bar. Right. Give it a good stab around the outside. Nice and deep around the outside. It does cause a little bit of minor stress and a few gentle ones around the base. Alright. And I get a gentle sprinkle of the blood and bone. Just a gentle one. Alright. Doesn't need a whole lot. A little bit of your compost. A good old scoop or two. Top dress. Okay. The stabbing of the roots tells the plant to stop growing really for a little bit and concentrate on fixing its roots. Then just a simple watering and then when the blood and bone activates you'll see one, two, three, four, there's like ten on here which is it's okay but you watch in uh, two weeks I'll give you an update you like a 40. So, a little bit more of a top dress. Do it is bark all around me so I'll redress it with a bit of bark. Okay. And just for hell of it, to make sure it's got a good stimulation, you poke some of this down into the other bit. Very vigorous around the outside. And a little bit shallower in the middle. And there you have it, stress, just a little bit, low stress, even like I've done this one, a bit of training, to make it bushy, and then once you've got the stress happening, you've got a bit of butt and bone in there, a bit of compost, and the whole lot is pretty much good to go. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and give us a like. If you're growing roses, let me know how you go.